Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love mothers? This is Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. So me, welcome, welcome myself back to the channel. Anyway. It's been... <laughs> Corny, I know. It's been a while. Y'all been requesting me to do cooking videos, and I'm going to do a cooking video, you all. Something different that I never made before, um, and I'm going to put my own uh, way on this. So I'm making. Um, it's gonna be a spinach and ricotta ravioli, but I'm gonna make. It's gonna be with chicken balls. So Sam's Club inspired. These are the noodles that I am going to make. Um, one of these, not both of them, but one of these. And also, I had saw this at Sam's Club. These are the mozzarella chicken meatballs. Yes, this is how it looks, y'all. So, I'm going to be making this. And I'm going to make a... Uh, like a creamy sauce with it. So I want you all to stay tuned as I am preparing this, walking y'all through it as I walk myself through it because this is my first time making this meal, you all. And uh, I hope it turns out well and I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've added my um, ricotta raviolis, uh, spinach raviolis to the pot of boiling water. It's going to be boiling, but I need this pot, this area. So I am going to move this back Turn on that eye while that's boiling, and I'm gonna come over here and I'll make my gravy. Turn this eye down some. It says use two teaspoons of oil or butter, but I'm going to be using avocado, avocado oil, just a little avocado oil, just a lopsided skillet. That's okay. And then I have cut up some garlic. Love my garlic, y'all. Didn't have any onions. Uh, so I'm not going to put that in there. And I'm going to put uh, this new garlic herb seasoning. Oh wow, I didn't even take the top off of it. Right now I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to put a little pepper in it. Pepper. I'm going to add a little pink Himalayan salt. Just a little because pink Himalayan salt is really salty. Okay, so while that's doing that, I'm going to take in brown this. Let it cook a little. Here we go. We got our garlic and herbs. Putting it in here. Pretty sure this tastes you all I love garlic. This is going to be for my sauce. Making a sauce. And letting that brown. Just a little. And uh, don't take long for it to brown. I want to turn that down because I got them brown the way I want it. Brown them. So I'm going to add, this is two tablespoons, you all. I'm going to use it. A flour. This is my gravy that I'm making for the chicken meatballs. Even though it's, I think, it's mozzarella inside the meatballs or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't have any chicken broth, but the way I am going to do it, I am going to be draining the water from these noodles. I'm going to drain my noodles, set them to the side. I'm going to use the water itself that the noodles boiled in. I'm going to use it for my gravy, part of my gravy. Okay, so these are the chicken mozzarella meatballs. I poured a little avocado oil in them, and I'm browning them sauteing them. That's going to be for about three minutes until my pasta water is ready for my garlic gravy. Yeah, that's sitting there right now. Lonely and dry. Looking at me like, why? Why didn't you wait for the water to approach me? You let me lay here on dry land. I know, it's horrible. But you'll be okay. Drain my noodles into a strainer. I'm going to set them aside because I want them to, of course, drain. I'm going to take my water. Just 
water right here. I want to move this pot out the way and I'm going to put my dry land or dry land and I'm going to add that pasta water to that. Not much, however much I want to. You know, it's the flour that determines the, the thickening of your gravy. So right now we're just going to start out with, you know, gravy that's really already seasoning. I don't want to put too much seasoning in it, you guys, because the chicken meatballs are already sauteed and seasoning. And I'm going to add a little bit to that. I'm going to add some more. That's too thick. And I'm going to turn my gravy down. How about how much I want? I want some meatballs like that. Okay. Actually, I want add all of this. Uh, I want my ricotta noodles and everything to be soaked really in this skillet right here. And I'm going to add the meatballs later, but we're going to see how this works. Because like I said, this is my first time uh, making this dish. So these are the chicken balls that are inside the gravy. I just got popped and that was hot. Hell's hotter. Get your life right. Yeah. So this is uh, the gravy I made. Still thickening as you can see. I love it. Now this has got, like I said, garlic and a seasoning gravy with chicken meatballs. So the mozzarella, I'm sure that some of that seeping off into there. And I'm trying to figure this out as I go because I do want the noodles wet. So I am going to change this pot. This is, I mean, the skillet is gonna be in a bigger pot, but actually it's going to be poured over the noodles. And you all will see. Okay, so these are my noodles that I had placed back in the skillet. Because you all, like I said, I'm figuring this out on my own. Inside of here is spinach and cream cheese. It's gonna be added a gravy chicken meatball with mozzarella over it. Yes. And this is the quick fast meal. Um, I'm gonna turn this down because like I said, it's burning my arm off. And uh, and this is the sauce that we, we have. It's just enough. Um, see that sauce over in there? And it's, we want it to smother also not just the meatballs, but we want it to, to smother the um, the ravioli. I spilt a lot of water on the stove, y'all, so. And we just want to move it around. And this is what we call our ricotta. Spinach cream cheese with chicken mozzarella meatballs. I hope it's as tasty as it looks. Of course, I won't be using this to spoon it out to get some gravy on that plate. And, um, yeah. You know, we like to throw things in a pot and be like, here, I'm done. And I'm pretty sure this dish was done separate. Matter of fact, when they made this gravy for this ricotta sauce, it was, was no meatballs added. I decided myself to add chicken meatballs. Uh, because like I said, uh, I'm a Sam's Club fan and when I saw the chicken meatballs, first thing I thought about was this dish in my head. So, yes, that's the dish. That's how it looks. I'm going to put it onto a plate and you will see. Ooh, gotta clean the kitchen mess back up my best stuff. Okay, y'all, so here it is. This is the dish. This is the ricotta, uh, uh, the uh, ricotta uh, spinach cream raviolis with the chicken balls with mozzarella cheese, you all. So you can see the cream cheese in it, and that's the the gravy that's with it. Oh my god. Chicken meatball, chicken meatballs. Chicken mozzarella meatballs. Y'all gotta try it. It's an easy dish. I hope you all enjoy it. I'm sweating, but yeah. Mm. For God be the glory for the things he's done. Mm. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.